everyone, this is George Coast, and welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Everyone, it's uh, good to be back. Uh, just uh, hanging out, just had a wonderful, nice time with my daughter, swimming with Clea, and it's something that I really, really appreciate just having that time. I was actually teaching her something um, that I learned in school. I, it's a counting method called Chisenbop, and it's kind of interesting because um, I, I, I teach, uh, I learned this method from Cindy Penrose. I, I still remember this. I use it all the time. I'm 47 years old, and I learned this in grade three, and it's basically having the ability to count to 100 using your fingers and you use your right hand um, as your one's hand, your left hand as your tens hand. And it's really, really helpful. And so her and I were kind of playing this game, learning some math while we're having some swimming. And I just kind of appreciate that time um, together. And, uh, you know, I feel really kind of inspired when I have that time, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one with my kids and how, how wonderful it is. And I was thinking about how much I appreciate, you know, some of that time and it's going to sound weird maybe like a little bit of a weird transition um some of the time that i've learned to really uh, appreciate over the last little while is the time i have with my dogs and there's a little story behind this and i've, I've always loved dogs i've had dogs i remember when i was growing up i wanted the dog so bad and uh, my parents were not really big fans of that they you know uh growing up in greece uh, dogs were often stray. They would wander the streets, but really not something that they saw as pets in the village that they lived in. So it was kind of like a, a thing that I would always ask for a dog every Christmas, would never get a dog. And I swore um, the day that I actually, you know, became an adult, I remember saying this, I'm going to get a dog. So I actually signed my first teaching contract and uh, I went straight to the Humane Society and I got a dog name and I named him Kobe. And I had Kobe and Shaq. Those are my first two dogs. And uh, uh, I also now have Odom and Cooper. And they're getting a little bit older. Uh, I've had them for quite a while. Uh, I can tell you, my dog Odom, he's, he's seen a lot in my life. Um, and Cooper came a little bit later. But I really appreciate them. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is that actually, um, because they're getting older, Odom, uh, he has diabetes. I, I have to give him insulin shots. And I didn't really... Uh, really, I struggled doing that. I'm not really a big needle fan, um, but it's something that I kind of learned to do. And now it's just, I don't even really think twice about it, but, uh, having dogs, uh, one of the things that when I move into a house, it's like really thought, thought out about like, Hey, is it dog proofed? Is there fenced? Cause I kind of just let my dogs run around, play around and, um, living where I was living before in Canada, the dogs would run around and have this exercise and that's what they do and to be honest with you i never took them for walks never ever took them for walks and part of it was um I, it's the cold in winter it was hard to get in a habit because i didn't mind doing it in, in like summer and fall but winter was horrible and it's just something i kind of you know it was easier just to let them run around in the yard they play do whatever and so when i was actually moving to florida and this is where the mindset monday comes in when i was moving to florida uh, one of the things I was literally dreading cause I knew this was happening for months was I was going to drive all the way from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada to, um, Orlando, Florida. And it's about a 48 hour drive. Now I'm obviously not doing it straight. I have to stay in hotels, you know, and I plan to do it in about four nights. And the sole reason that I was driving was because I refused to put my dogs on a plane. Uh, they're, they're a lot older. Uh, they have some anxiety issues and I have some anxiety issues when it comes to my dogs. I just didn't want to go through that process and I didn't want something to happen to them because of the move. And I, I felt that there was a lot more control, even though it was a lot longer process, um, to, to get in a, into a, a minivan and drive them, you know, across North America. And so the reason I was dreading this is because my dogs actually didn't, um, they, they didn't, they weren't used to going, doing their business for lack of a better term. Um, when they were, um, on a walk because that's what they do. And I just let them outside and go for a run. So a walk was kind of like a special treat, but it wasn't part of their routine. Right. And so when I, when I booked this trip, I was really struggling with it. Cause I was nervous about like, you know, was this something they would, you know, would be comfortable doing, you know, like what was that going to turn into? Uh, I had to find hotels that, you know, would accept pets, um, during the stay during, you know, the process. 
which actually was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And I have to make sure that uh, I, I had to give uh, Odom insulin every day, which means I had to have a cooler because you have to have, keep the insulin cold. So there's all these things I had to go. And, and I'll tell you, I, I love my dogs dearly, but I was dreading this for months. This is something I did not want to do because um, I just I was so worried something was going to go wrong. And then it finally came to pass that I had to do um, this, this process, right? And I'll tell you, like the first day, I was like really nervous because um, I had driven for a little while and um, Cooper can be a little bit of a rambunctious dog. And she was just nonstop, just nonstop um, whining. And then um, on the second day of the trip, she's fine. And But every night, um, I would take them for a walk when we get to the hotel, feed them, go to bed, and then I'd wake up in the morning and I'd take them for a walk, feed them, get in the car, go for a drive, drive for a little bit, stop for gas, take them for a little walk so they can go to the bathroom. And, you know, by the end of the time, they had got, they had understood what was going on. They had understood like, kind of like, this is our time to go to the bathroom. And it was kind of nice because they were like really relaxed. They kind of enjoyed the drive. It was like something that was a little bit shocking. And I felt that over that time, something I was really dreading, I was like, oh, I'm kind of liking this. Like, this is actually really, really good. And what's kind of neat is that um, ever since, uh, it's weird because like my dogs always snuggle me. They're kind of, they're like outside my door right now as I'm recording this. They kind of follow me around. But ever since I moved to Florida, they're way more connected to me. And part of the reason is because that thing that I never used to do, I do all the time now um, and they are like the second i move in the morning they're they're ready to go they're excited they're wagging their tails they're so excited and i actually it's kind of neat because i i don't think i've seen them this happy uh, and excited for things in a long, long time they're doing, doing the best shape i'll be honest with you but um at, at, at night i take them for a walk as well and they look forward to it and it's just it's not only something that they're excited about and i saw this video when i was on tiktok and it was like saying you know like take that take your dogs for a walk like that's the best part of their day and it was like i was already doing it but it just kind of reaffirmed how important this was and as much as they like it i love it too um it gives you some quiet time in the morning i'll put on some headphones i'll listen to the news kind of catch up on i enjoy that connection you know with my dogs and it's weird that i'm talking about this because i i was dreading that process so much. And when I got actually into it, I'm like, Hey, well, I'm going to see this as an opportunity to utilize this. I'm going to leverage this and, you know, take my dogs for a walk, enjoy this time. And now because of that trip that I was dreading, I now do a practice every single day that I feel makes me better and makes me happier, finds me some peace in the morning, finds me some peace in the evening. And the reason I bring this up is sometimes the things that we dread the most can actually become the things that are the best for us. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. And sometimes it's that fear of the new job. It's the fear of the losing the job. And you go into a new space, you go into a new opportunity and you're terrified. And you can be terrified. You can stay terrified. You can also talk about how horrible this is. But do you try to find opportunity there that wasn't there before? Do you reshift your thinking in a way that is beneficial to you? This is also true with relationships. Um, there's times where, you know, I've been with people and I'm like, I, I can't even imagine being without this person. And sometimes breaking off was actually, and I don't want anyone breaking up because of this podcast. This is the last thing I want credit, you know, credit for. I don't want to be you know brought into this, but, um, you sometimes like if you think back some of your past relationships you probably were dreading being that and then did you actually maybe even leave better now did you did you leave better because you, you shifted your own thinking or because it was better or maybe a little bit of both and so that thing that i was so terrified of doing has actually made me better has actually helped me grow and it's not because it happened that's part of it. I had to do it, but it's because I actually took advantage of what that would look like and tried to make the best out of it. And when I made the best out of it, it actually improved my life moving forward. And so I just wanted to talk about that really quick 
And I know it might seem like a long way to get to it, but I think it was really important to share that story because I think in our lives, you know, I, I want to, I was thinking a lot about this today. I, you know, I share these mindset Monday is to really try to help people to really kind of reshift their thinking, find, you know, opportunities where often it's really easy to see obstacles. And it's not because that's what I always do. That's not at all. I struggle with it. That's one of the reasons I share this, but I struggle with it, but I still try to find a way. I always try to find a way to get better. And it doesn't mean that I'm perfect in this process. It doesn't mean that I don't ever have anxiety or, you know, struggles with new opportunities, new ideas, struggle to take advantage of things. But I think, you know, just kind of sound, you know, like sharing this with others helps me kind of like stick it into my own mind, into my own heart on how I can continuously move forward. And so just kind of going back to this, and I want you to really think about this as, as you're thinking about this podcast, is there something that you dreaded in the past that you actually end up doing that, that made you better? And if you hold on to that, and if you think about that, the next time you go on to something that you dread, can you actually leverage it? Can you actually leverage it? Because you're going to have to do it anyway. So no, why not make the best of it? So just something I want to th think about. It's also a little, you know, a, a great opportunity to give a little shout out to my dogs. I do, I do love my dogs, Odom and Cooper. I know they're never going to listen, but the, the weird thing is I actually thought about this the other morning because I was having some issues with my podcast uploading and it uploaded on Monday morning. And as I was walking, I was listening to my own podcast, which was kind of interesting. So I thought, you know, hey, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do one about my dogs because, um, yeah, I get to like listen to stuff that I really haven't you know, appreciate it as much as I have in the past. So just something thinking for you. Hope it helps you start off your week in, in a positive. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for your do. And I appreciate listening to another episode of My Time Monday. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.